Happy Monday. So this is Space Haven Alpha 14. Again, update just did come out, uh, let's see, February 10th, February, somewhere around there. We haven't played it in a little while, uh, since, basically since 13, in all honesty. And, um, they made a significant, uh, change, well, maybe not change it, improvements. We'll call them improvements. And, uh, we, we have to start a new game though, or at least it's highly recommended that you do, which we will, and you'll see why here in a second. And um, if you're not familiar with Space Haven, this is basically a colony builder in space where your base actually moves around through space. Uh, we got music that kicks in every now and then. General premise is that Earth has uh, been destroyed or no longer good pe for people or whatever. So humanity's gone out in space and created different factions and run into other things and all sorts of fun stuff. You've got uh, three scenarios you can choose from. Place a platform. This is for basically new starting or new people to the game. This is a, a tutorial, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's the sound. The music is loud. I even turned it down. <laughs> anyway, basic platform. Basically, it's like tutorial type stuff. Mining station. Generally, the same idea as a basic platform, but um, without as much. You get more supplies to work with and this kind of stuff because you're uh, not as a. Uh, your hand isn't held as much. And then a small hope. Uh, this, this, this. this is more of a challenging thing, I think. You're given a small hope, uh, but you have to build up from there and give yourself a chance to survive. Oh, this is where you get a small ship, I think, to work with. And you get basically all the basics to start with. And uh, you get to expand the ship and all the other fun stuff from the start. So the question is, where do you want to start? Um... Uh, some spare one of their older ships and some essential supplies that we can give them a small hope or even built from the start. Let's go from the start here for the most part without the, well, I don't know if we tutorial stuff or not. So anyway, this will be uh, now 14. Let me go from there. Okay, select your difficulty. We'd usually go just go normal. That's where you're setting up all the game settings. Uh, we'll go scenario hints, crew six. Yeah, six crew is good. Hangers populated, yes, yeah, so this is all the resources. And you can actually just click the little edit button down here and you can change all the stuff if you want. So we got more crew, more supplies, that kind of stuff. Items, I'm gonna start with a shotgun and four pistols for six people, and that's fine. This is a starting sector, resources are gonna be there. We're gonna turn sandbox on because mode on because I make mistakes. And we're in my settings, sure, sure, sure. So this is again, you can just go through and set all the stuff. How many? How often do you want to say aliens? Which uh, the aliens are basically bugs that try to kill, eat you. <laughs> they like to chew on you a little bit and stick you up against a wall and wait for you to rot so they can eat you later. Um, derelict, sick, er, derelict ships, derelict resources, claimable ships presence, rare. That's eh, not a big deal. Faction rules. Pirates will start off hostile to us. Everybody else is, uh, the only pirates. I can add a new rule. Okay. Technology settings. Unlocked, unlocked, unlocked. So you could actually turn all that stuff off. Anyway, so that's a general setup there. And the crew. This is where the change, where some of the significant changes have happened. Basically, now your crew have skills that can actually get better over time as they use them. Because it used to be they capped out at level 3. And they were always level 1, 2, or 3. Or they didn't even have a skill. Now they, they've made it so they, there's their starting number. And then you've got a cap. You know, so this guy, Botany, starts out at level 2. But it can go up to, what, 8 or so? Looks like 8. And again, operation shielding, that kind of stuff, too. And you have attributes. I imagine the attributes go back up as you use them as well. They never really showed these before, I don't think. At least not, not this port of the game. So you can see how brave they are, their zest, uh, how energetic they are, how intelligent, perception. Higher value increases accuracy and working speed and decreases accident rate. So perception is good. So again, all that stuff is new with this update. You can see everybody's a little different. Uh, so, 
We got that. And it'll tell you what all your skills are currently in this group. And you can always create more people if you want. So, dun, dun, dun. so fun stuff, huh? So now the question is, is what do we want? This is the fun point. And of course, this is customizable. You can change their names. You can change their appearances. Oh, can you actually give them... Oh, you can actually give them jobs. A sheriff. And then you can tweak them. Oh, they're letting you know, do all kinds of che cheating stuff here. Huh. I didn't really look at this before. Skill potential points, start uh, skill points, so you can play with this too. Oh, oh, you have to take stuff away though. So you can min max them if you want. So in this case, uh, this person. So we don't care if you do botany. Take that point away and put it back into weapons. Hello, uh, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch oh, channel. You if you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at GimpyNee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Monday. So, this is, uh, I didn't really play around with this before, and that's kind of, uh, now you can min-max your characters if you want. So, no research. Just go weapons or gunner or medical. Or something else. Hmm. What else does this person do? Got my mining and construction industry. That'd be an engineer type person, right? And security. Uh. Do construction. You can switch between current points and potential. This is accidents when mining asteroids, so this is not too bad. Um, let's see. So now we have potential skill points for this kind of stuff. Construction. Okay, now about that one. That one. Now that's the actual potential. Mm -hmm. Construction. I won't have you touch industry though. There we go. And that would be a good gunner too. Okay, so anybody want to be Judy? <laughs> She needs a new person there. Uh, let's see. We want to do Star Trek stuff, black pants, but shirt. I think we want to do. I don't think it really matters for us. So this will be. Uh, I don't know. Do Lieutenant Judy, simply because uh, she'll be our chief of security for the moment with those weapons and stuff. Okay, so this guy, our person, Bertha, teacher and talkative. So we can change this around too if we want. So as far as professions go, we got bartenders, farmers, telemarketers, sheriffs, astronaut, drillers, nurses, prize fighters, computer programmer, blacksmith, engineer, chemical engineer. Look at all the jobs. Look at all the jobs. Well, I have a doctor next. Intelligence and perception, sure. Um, medical, 
mining. I don't have you do any mining. Construction, I don't do construction. Everybody needs a little bit of weapons. You won't have to be a gunner over the shielding. Ah, that. Medical, yes. And then research, botany, how about with farming? We met. Oh, that's a lot of points to play around with. So that. Research, research. That's done. It's not actual skill points. Those are maxed out. Oh, that's potential, sorry. Botany. Two points to spend. Yeah. There we go. So intelligence and perception. So perception is higher increase accuracy, work speed, and decreases accident rate. Bravery. Intelligence. So increases learning rate and available skill points. So that's why so many skill points to play around with because so smart. Talkative doctor. That was fine. Wow, look at the skill there. Ten. Woohoo. Okay, so Doc Bertha. Unless somebody wants to be this person, just speak up in chat and we'll make you uh, that person. Or make this person you. If you want. Okay, so we've got a medical person. We should probably get some construction people in here too. Our navigator. Do we want a navigator? What job do we want to do next? Farmer or. Um, I don't know. Engineer. Well, actually, you need an engineer. So do an end, a regular engineer. Those are intelligence, perception. Not very busy, are you? Moody. Hardworking engineer. Clumsy, iron stomach, confident, needy, peace loving, smart, charming, a wimp, a psychopath. <laughs> Uh, let's do Iron Weld. This character has too many skill points allocated. Well, we'll fix that in a second. So, uh, we're going to be an engineer. So, let's do... Don't need to be gunner. Don't need to do shielding. Operation. So, we'll see what kind of construction stuff. Oh, it's not, it's not RimWorld. It's not a rim world we make. Welcome to the stream, sad turtle. No, this is it's similar. It's the same genre as rim world, but it's not rim world. Okay, so for him, we want to do industry. Max that out. Construction two. We cap him out of that stuff. Weapons, that'll be fine for him. Help out with the mining, I guess, a little bit. Okay, so we've got these things we've got to space out, I guess. Um, Eh, we can have to do shielding, I guess. I want too many points. As far as starting skill points, um, mining. Oh, that's right, the starting points is what we need to worry about.
So again, this is their potential that we're looking at right now. That's five, that's six, got three more points to spend. There we go. Okay, so construction is eight, medical is a 10. So next. Uh, let's see, so we've got, oh, we didn't. This is a uh, dude, lieutenant commander, is a case engineer. You sure? Dark red. So we did the that one. It's supposed to be that one for that red. Ah, red shirt die. Yes. Well, not always. Not always. Okay. So um, we got the. Okay, mining, construction, industry, botany. We need to work on farming. Research probably should increase that a little bit. Everybody else, I think we're okay there. So, um, next, we need uh, botany people. So, Mariana, your job is going to be farmer. And you're going to be gourmand. Enjoys eating. Mood is lifted every time this person gets to eat something. As straight as it's a possibility to give an exceptional learning potential in some skills. Wow, the potential in these weapon stuff. Um, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see. So, still building it. Just a second. So, you don't care about your mining. Don't really care about your construction too much. Botany, definitely want to give a boost to that. Angry Farmer. Navigation. Currently, navigation tops out at five, which would be her. Shielding. Operations. Whatever that. That's a communications, I think. Help with research, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I get some points out. Get Bonnie up to five. Two more points. Learn how to shoot a weapon. All set. So, Mariana the farmer. Okay, next. Um, what do we need? I don't know. What else do we need? Probably another combat person for, you know, boarding ships and stuff. So it was a bartender, farmer, cook, telemarketer, sheriff, astronaut, trillion nurse, blacksmith, comedian. Comedian, the, comedian on the way team always works well, I'm sure. An alien lover. <laughs> Comedian alien lover. Uh, okay, so um, construction, botany. I'll take her botany away. Give her a little bit more mining construction. That, no research. You're not going to be that smart. I'm going to just move your skills around a little bit. Or, sorry, your attributes. Let me do 
that. Don't need operations. And skill potential. Or that was potential, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. That was actual stuff. Oops, that. Counter potential. Shielding potential. Yeah, do construction. I actually give her some uh, industry too. Oh, now we're over a point. That'd help out with the industry just a little bit. So we'll take uh, one of your shielding points away. Oops, that one. You need to get up and step All away set. from the computer. That was really bad. Okay, so bravery, zest, intelligence, and perception. So I'm going to reduce your intelligence a little bit. Make you braver. Zest, this is uh, increase energy and health levels of the character, and that'll be good. Perception. Increases uh, accuracy and working speed. So we probably leave that where that is. We just make you, we'll make them braver. Or braver. Okay, so. Oh shit, we just screwed up all her skill points <laughs> by making her dumb. <laughs> Dumber. Okay, fine. That. So potential points, reduce these. Well, guess what? I can do any industry. And so skill starting skill points. Um, the gunner there. Okay. So last person. So were we lacking in skills for the most part? Gunner shielding operations. We got people with that stuff though. Yep, that's operations. Gunner has potential gunnery stuff there. Shielding's good. Navigation's good there. Gunner and shielding there. So as long as we have operations, yeah, we're good. So we're actually good on all the ship's stuff. As far as skills and stuff, things go, we've got a botany person. We have a doctor, the chief of security, basically. This is our farmer, botany, helping out with medical research and some weapons. So the weight, a weight team person, done some construction and mining as well. I would have another weight team person too, I think, here. Simply because uh, we need at least three to go on the way teams do stuff. Is crew static or can you get new members? You can get new members. You can get new members and your existing members can die. So, but no, the screw, the crew does can actually be added to. You just got to keep in mind when you do that, you have to have enough food and resources to keep them all alive too, because people eat food and there's oxygen requirements, all this other fun stuff, which we haven't gotten to yet because we're still making our crew. So this person, Da -da. Oh, that's right. Maureen, medical assistant for the away team. Nyctophilia. What's nyctophilia? Do I want to know what nyctophilia is? Finds control. Oh, comfort in the dark. Mood is not affected by the absence of light. Working speed increased by working speed 10%. I don't know what that means exactly. Immune to. It's so dark on this spaceship. This trait has a possibility to give it exceptional learning potential and some skills. Hmm. Medical assistant on the way team, that works for me. Um, how many miners do we have? Two, technically. Construction. I think we have enough. She can assist in construction. Hmm. Navigation, you don't need that stuff. She doesn't need... Uh, it's 
actual skill points we're giving up there. Let's do potential for weapons being on the away team. Give her some of the stuff to work with. So that's level five, right? Yeah, potential of five. That's seven, eight, seven, seven, eight. There we go. And actual skill points. Uh, again, you're on the way team, so you gotta be able to shoot stuff. And her attributes. So bravery, three is okay. Goes up to five. Zest is okay, I guess. Intelligence, perception, we won't touch those. I think we're good. So we have three, technically four people if we want for the away team. Although we don't, yeah, yeah the engineer, he could go, but he won't go in for most, most conditions he won't. This is uh, Lieutenant Judy. He's our uh, away team leader. What happens if nations go too high and the dog's paws get raw from walking? Oh, we have a, we, they have a, um, uh, stroller that they get to ride in because they're, they're going to be 15 in May. So they usually get, get pushed around in a stroller after about a half mile or so. Cause again, they, they're not old enough to walk a full mile, not in one sitting or one shot. So yes, we have a stroller for the dog. Not a joke. Okay, so crew is ready. I'm sure this will go fine. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. And thank you. Happy Monday. Hey, Fanny, welcome back. Not our cat? So the answer is no. Okay, we're going to Space Haven. Blah, blah stuff. Okay, so this is our little station. We have to build a ship. This is a um, derelict that we can uh, go explore once we're ready to do that. Hey, Jaguar, welcome back. Happy Monday. No, we're not barring a cat. No, we're not. So, again, this is going to be our building area for a ship. This is all resources and stuff out here, which I guess we start mining. Get that stuff out of the way. I just go through and say, we want to mine all this stuff, all of it. Okay, so again, this uh, thing here is a derelict ship that's got resources it's probably got aliens on it that we're gonna have to kill how do you get over there well we have this thing called a shuttle we got two shuttles apparently they give us two shuttles then we've got these little pods over here that are used for mining and uh, constructing the ship hey Aldrin welcome back you read a uh, incomplete or an inaccurate statement that. Oh, and then we have, uh, this is our work. Food gets grown for this particular station. Now the thing is, is go, how can we have to leave the station? Why don't you just stay here instead of building a ship? Because eventually we will run out of resources and people will start dying or suffocating from lack of oxygen. So that's why. Growing. Uh, we want to grow fruit and this particular grow bed. This one, we want to grow some vegetables. This one, we want to grow nuts and seeds. And then this one, we'll do fruits in one and vegetables in the other. So eat that stuff for a while. The cat was stolen? No, the cat has never been stolen. Cat is making choices of its own. Kind of. When I eject it from the house, it is no longer making a choice. Other than it didn't leave in the first place. Okay, so this is oxygen generator. So we don't have to worry about that. They'll feed in 
basically need water to produce oxygen, which you get from ice. This is a composter. The idea here is you want to uh, produce compost that you need to grow stuff over in the grow beds. So this you want to keep going all the time. And so any biomatter we pick up, biomatter, what's biomatter? What do you think biomatter is? And then you can uh, basically turn any of this stuff into biomatter if you want. Thing is, is that each thing produces different things or different levels of products. So this is uh, biomatter produces water, fertilizer, and carbon. Then you can throw fruits in there. Basically, same idea, but at different levels. Get the 0 0.01, 0 0.02, that kind of stuff. So basically, what you do here is if um, you have too many fruits, you're going to set this up here as uh, throw five in there if you have more than three, if you want to do that. So if you have more than three fruits, you throw them in here and they get uh, processed, right? I know that's the right way to do it. So, like I said, if we go over three fruits, they get thrown in there, but we don't want to do that right now. Because food is fine, is food is food. Or fruits are food. But for now, we'll just have the biomatter being processed in the compost. Oh, okay, we got a gas scrubber, so in case there's like fires in this area, it'll clean up the smoke. And assembler. Assemblers. So building component used to assemble furniture. So we're making this stuff. Well, under one, they build a whole block or an infra block. Soft block is if, if less than one, build one. That's how that works. So you could actually make that uh, more. So uh, usually what we do is whole blocks, if it's say less than five, make one, take it up to five. Infra blocks, same deal. Soft blocks, same deal. So basically if we have less than five of any of these, they'll, they'll start making them. Okay, this is a metal refinery. This turn or makes steel plates and electronics components. So if there's less than one, make one. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Then recycling. So this is any type of scrap you pick up, you convert it over to the actual what it came from. So in this case, soft scrap is made. Soft scrap is made in soft blocks. So one one scrap is half a block. So this guy is just do continuous all the time. And I think Mrs. Kimpy wants to talk to me, so be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, what you just did here, this is um, a water purifier. Basically, throw ice in here to make it into water. This is for making fabrics. And this was... Oh, this is the scrap stuff. So, then get to work. These are storage areas. You can move stuff between storage, whatever. Start building a new spaceship. We will. That's Med Bay. Wow, that's loud. Better. Might be better. Eh, 
And this is our dining area. This is where you pick what food you want to make. So basically there's proteins and fat, carbs and vitamins. And eventually, if your people aren't getting the right stuff, they start suffering from, you know, malnutrition and that kind of fun stuff. And you can determine what you want to make your meals out of in this case. So create a food cast, 9% of fruits, vegetables, artificial meat, nuts and seeds, whatever. Now you could modify this because we don't actually have any meat right now. <laughs> so, so you can modify this and we'll have all our food made out of that stuff. Percentages aren't uh, super accurate, but I guess we can run a 10. Nuts and seeds. So that's worked out to be a whole 40%. So that was nowhere close to 100%. But it can tell you how much protein is in here, fat, carbs, vitamins, toxins, no toxins. Yes, you can eat monster meat, and you can, can eat people, too. Do you want to? Yeah, it's up to you. But anyway, so we don't have any meat production. So we'll about that later. And again, another reason to get off the station. If you want protein in your diet, or at least a good amount of protein in your diet. Okay, so. So we don't have a research station yet, do we? A tools facility. Oh, there's a toilet. This is where you get your biomass from. Get one guess what the biomass comes from. Insufficient resources. Okay. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Okay, so it wants us to build our new spaceship. I can only supply your crew members uh, for a little while, so you should start building a new spaceship. You can build a new ship uh, whole little, little by little and do not have to design it outright. Use the whole, whole bot uh, tool to build menu, blah, blah, stuff. So that's down here, lower right hand corner. You want to use the. Dun, dun, where is it? Edit. So this is where you build your basically what your ship wants to look like. It can take up this whole square through here. I wish they would, there was a way to see this uh, easily, but, oh, there we go. So sketching, this is where you basically do, um, basically a sketch of what you're gonna do with your ship, where you're gonna place the hull and whatever. So in this case, we want to, uh, what kind of ship do we wanna build? Super big, not too big? Let's do not too big. It's a six by six, seven by six, seven by seven. So you can do this. Actual objects we want to look at um, is it airlocks. So this is the regular airlock. So it takes up, uh, spin it using E and R, not just E, E and W. No, E and Q. Okay, so it's a three by three. So, sketch. So it's gonna take up, uh, I think it's gotta go right through there. So we can build that right there for now. So, there's part of our sketch. We'll just get it started and, uh, sorry, you wanna activate the sketch. Just select the part of your sketch you wanna do. Do that and then they start building. Okay, speed up time a little bit. So, they do they start moving uh, while well, they're doing moving resources around? And then you have energy you have to worry about. So this is a little power generator. Eventually, you run out of power too. And though I think we do have, I think this is a solar panel. Yeah, solar panels help you with the power a little bit. Not much, but a little. Oh, they're planting the food over here. See, look, it's already starting to grow. Mm 
no construction going yet. Probably because our now there we go. So he's gonna build a little section there. Once it's built, we'll tell him to build an airlock there. And then we have to set up power and all this other fun stuff. It'll again it'll tell us what we need to build for the most part. So speed up a little. So build an airlock, see? But we can't build an airlock until we have some space to build onto. Mm -hmm. Oh, we actually have to name our ship too. Boy, it tells a little bigger. Oh, oh. So, because we don't have un unlimited resources, uh, we have to be a little bit careful on the size of the ship we build. And we also don't want to sit around here too long because we will eventually run out of food and oxygen and water. Okay, so... to these buttons again. Okay, so it's got to be all the way in. So, so this will basically be the back end of our ship because the ship's moving from right to left as far as where the engines and stuff going to be. So the question is now is so we can just do this. We can keep you know just working on sketching while they're still building stuff. And the engines. And again, I didn't even check to see how centered we were. <laughs> I wish there was an easy way to find the center, but... It's okay. It's not a big deal. Um... Space suit lock. That's what? Um... System. So Hyperium Hyperdrive. So this is a small engine. So this is a 3x4 or 4x4? Looks like a 4x4. Question is, how many do we want? Um, Stick it out a little bit here, I think. Four by four, so this should be good enough space because once you build this, it's going to connect here. It'll be one space. It's not a big deal. It's at six by seven by seven. Another seven by seven. So we're going to do mirror that over here four because we'll put a second engine over here eventually. And it'll go this way. This is where our main power and stuff will be up in this area. And that's what we'll build next. Oh, those are the miners. <laughs> They're going off to do their thing over there. That's the miner, mining pods. These mining pods double as construction as well. But they just mine the stuff up, fill up, fill up, and then bring it back to the ship. Meanwhile. So there's the shuttle. He comes over here, drops off materials to build the air dock. Or airlock. Sorry, airlock. So do that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so there's our airlock. You're well on your way to building a spaceship of your crew. To have your crew priorities building the new ship, be sure to set some of your crew members to prioritize working on the new ship. Oh, that's what I forgot. Priorities. <laughs> Build smaller, large storage. Yeah, that's for stuff. So, so everybody's assigned to uh, the station right now. And then priorities. We didn't do this yet. So, Doc. High priority on medical, it looks like. Botany, research, that works, logistics, Lieutenant Commander Casey, that is our engineer, I believe. Construction, maintenance, mining, industry. Your job is not to do research, more logistics so much. Construction, maintenance is higher, mining, yeah, get mining out of the way, industry as well. Medical is always kind of important. Okay, Lieutenant Judy. Lieutenant Judy is our away team leader, I believe. Mining. And yeah, let's get mining done first, then maintenance, construction, up there. Mariana, this is our grower. Right, and this is one of our away team Hello people. everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at GimpyNee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Monday. So, research? Shouldn't you be working on research? Well, they're better people. Down that way. Mining, high priority, maintenance, high priority, construction. Construction as well there too. Yeah, this should be okay. Okay, so there's our priority schedule. So this is uh basically sleep and work schedules. Anybody working the same shift? Yeah, we'll have everybody work the same shift for now. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not generally a good idea. Um, so they get six sleep, six hours of sleep, middle of the day. time. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. It wasn't that bad. To work all those days. Not to work. Copy, paste, paste. So, uh, two shifts going. Day and night shift, basically. With only a six hour sleep shift. Sleep, sleep sessions not too big too big of a deal. They'll be fine. Okay, new ships, robots. Oh, sorry, you get robots now too eventually. Dun, dun, dun. This is the Veronica. Okay, so the ship uh, is lacking some, you know, places to relax and that kind of stuff. It also needs power, but they need to build space first. Build a small or large storage for your new spaceship. How about we finish building stuff first? Yeah, 
I see you need to build this out first. Storage. I want large storage here. So in energy I'm a power generator, this is like a low quality generator. It doesn't produce a lot of power. Two more there. You could build two of them. Oh, then we have tools facility too. So, uh, you want facility? Oh. Uh, resource? Tool facility. So get that going. Small power node and a large node. Uh, this affects how much power it distributes, right? Basic power capacity zero, advanced power capacity. Advanced power range is 12. So then we have to. Uh, oh, power. Oh, they changed this, didn't they? So generating power. So I think they changed it. You don't have to have all the little power nodes as much anymore. Create optimal gas conditions. So we need an oxygen generator, gas grower, that kind of stuff. Down just a little. System life support. So we don't really have a whole lot of space here, so we need to uh, expand out a little bit. Go this way. Do another seven by seven. Oops. You say oops quite often. Do you need assistance? Nope. I'm okay. Okay, so build this. We're also going to need temperature control too. Yeah, we don't have any stuff over here yet. Okay, so rules. This is a uh, basically. The stuff that you went over here, want over in the storage. In this case, we want, uh, I don't know, what do we want? This is just for the, pro, uh, the raw in, in their GM, so. Bring here. Uh, minimum. So we want a minimum of uh, go eight for now. We're gonna want water too. Now I guess you don't have to do the minimum thing if you tell it how much you want. Oh no, you do the minimum thing. You don't have to do the other one. Never mind.
That works. Current objective, create optimal gas conditions. So we got space up here now. So we need life support. Two there. Gas cover. Two right there. What's this? Cannot remove spacesuits, bad environment, oxygen, temperature. So we're going to need temperature as well. So thermal regulator. Put that right next to there. We can put it down here too. Put it right here. Will it be enough to do this whole section? Probably not. So we've got a different temperature things going on here. Um, water vapor, hazardous gases, comfort, bad jobs, vents. So where's the temp? Oh, this is the temperature. So, a little cool. Negative 26. Negative 20 up there. Build the following objects. So we need uh, toilets and beds for the crew. Temperature's much better now. Okay, so that. Beds and toilet. Mm. Or do we want to build that stuff? Could do it up here, I guess. Seven by seven. Don't have Dimpy to do this. is sketch. raising money for the National that. MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you. And again, if you're able to help out the donation, we're currently around $1,200 raised so far, which means I have to walk at least one mile so far. And if you'd like to help out, just uh, visit stompingoutms.org. And any amount you choose to donate is very much appreciated, and it goes to a great cause. If you have any questions about what multiple sclerosis is or what the National MS Society does, Feel free to ask, and I will do my best to answer. Okay, so this door. No need walls. Uh, regular walls. So it's only five. Door, right? There. So basically we're just sectioning this off a little simply because, uh, you know, gases and excess heat and all this other fun stuff. We want to be able to control that. No, no, we do want a space locker in here somewhere. Oh, this is a space door. It's not a locker. Uh, furniture? For a uh, spacesuit locker. Do we have one of those yet? I don't think we do. Ah, oh, there we go. So, the reason for spacesuit lockers when fires break out and breaches in the hull, all the other fun stuff, you want your people to have some type of uh, way of uh, not dying. <laughs> so, we'll just put that right there. Okay, so they want the uh, bedrooms and the toilet. We can do that stuff up here, kinda. Bunk beds. Is 
there. Lots of space for that. Toilet. Actually, want to make this into a room, right? So that uh, again, a little bit of privacy when coming here and leaving and that kind of stuff. So just there, that, that door. You want to walk through toilet area? <laughs> Could do that. It's not embarrassing, right? Because this space is actually too small. I'm um, going to expand this wall out a little bit. On both sides. Because this will allow us to build a wall through here, put the toilets in there, with doors going that way maybe. They don't need space. They'll be fine. Okay, so. Or as beds and a toilet. While well, they're getting their toilet still need to be built. Also going to want some uh, light. I think is the the word we're looking for. Not resource, food, no storage, no airlock, furniture. Ah, there's a a wall light. Build lights, see, eh? so they can see. Light, light. Okay, slow down a little. So, a kitchen, algae, oh, that's right, the algae dispenser, so they can actually eat. Make it so the eating area is going this way because this is the bunk area. You can put like a door to go over here. Yeah, seven by eight, that'll work. Oops, activate it. Huh. 
And then once that's built, uh, I'll have to put some, some walls, probably. And... Doors? Can't build a door yet. Oh, this wall's gonna be, or this light's gonna be an issue. I like, no. You too. I don't know. there for now. Some part of your ship is unreachable. That's until stuff gets built out. Sad. Do you have random things that happen? Meteors hitting space pirates? Uh, no meteors. There are space pirates, but I don't think we're going to see those for a little while still. You don't usually see the pirates and says, still until you start going out and exploring. Like, this is... So this is uh, currently where we are, this little system or spot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then there's the, the bigger area. So this is our little system within the system. Like this is the solar system. So we'll just call this a planetary system, I guess. So each one of these spots could have things there. And then you zoom out even farther. So you go from solar system to solar system. And you can see there's like little things going on up here. Dun, 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 all the stuff up there. So these are star system clusters controlled by the pirate coalition. So we have different factions out there. So you got pirates. It's that time all the again. neutral ones. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. So, again, this is our plain area for the time being. This is our galaxy as we know it. And this is different every time. Again, currently this is our... Again, this is the solar system we're in. And each one of these are, we're just calling planetary systems. So you just fly from, or planet, yeah, planet systems. Planetary system. So you just go from, like, say, space to space and there's different stuff in there. They can be pirates, they can be neutral factions to deal with, you can find derelict ships where you run into aliens and all this other fun stuff. And resources too. No problem. This hasn't gotten moved yet. Okay, so we're waiting for that to move. Put up some walls. That way. There. There. We're gonna, once this uh, light is moved, we're gonna put a door there. Just like we're gonna do that over here, too. Although we could put the door up here now. Hmm. Nowhere to relax. We talk about nowhere to relax. Dun, 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 dun. So it's issue here. Insufficient available resources. So they want. I do not think oops means what you think it means. I want water. We don't have any water yet. No water means no atmosphere. So I like how they've, they add stuff. Like the little lights moving on the machinery and stuff. Little stuff that's not, that hasn't been there always. 
every time they do an update, they add little stuff like that in. Makes it look, look a, little, a little bit more alive. Okay, then over here. Uh, we need a kitchen, so that would be objects, resource. Nope. There's a kitchen. Oh, and the algae dispenser, which needs to get built. Get the kitchen in there first. Kitchen there, algae dispenser. So an algae dispenser. What do you think an algae dispenser is for? It's for making algae. Do you have a bot listening for you to say oops? Oh yes, I do. She's not a bot, she's an AI. Don't call her a bot. She doesn't like being called a bot. She's very sensitive. It's that furniture. There's a table in the middle. No? Yes? Yes. That table, and then we're about light in here. That, and then we're going to want some storage. It's a small storage. Can you squeeze it in there? Eesh. Build a hole stabilizer. Okay. So we're going to use this to uh, store food in. Then finally get moved. Unreachable tasks. This guy gets moved. Oh, Mr. Gimpy's back. You're right back. Okay, I'm back. So this thing. So this needs food value. It needs water and biomass. This. Ooh, so, uh, we want to do this so it's uh, select all, allow none. It's an easier way of doing this so we can uh, I guess we just select all these. So this is all the food stuff. So we just want food in here. Why? Because that's the kitchen. And this is going to be the main dining area. So I keep my eyes somewhat happy, maybe. Cannot reach temperature, build more thermal regulators. Uh oh. A little chilly. So, for some reason, it's really cold down here. So, it goes on our life support, thermal regulator.
picture right there. Hopefully that helps. The resources are still low on this ship, and that's fun. Build a hull stabilizer. We're going to build that. And what is it exactly? Um, it'll be under systems. Hull stabilizer. So it reinforces the spell. Oh, it only has a limited reach. Wonderful. So resources, that's okay. So we have beds. We have a light in there, keep them moving. Okay, I didn't put any space in here for heat. Vents, isn't there? An air vent. Component allows gas and temperature to pass through uh, walls. It's great for creating more, uh, more even and stable gas levels on your ship. So, that right there. Can I build there? Oh, I can't have space on the inside. Okay, we need a water purifier now on the ship somewhere. It's a little too compact. That we have doors though. Doors basically ask, act as vents, yeah. So the vent is currently open, so we don't care about the wall vents. So that's fine. Okay, so they want us to build a wall water purifier. That is a um, resource. There we go. It's a bit more tight space around here. I don't think we have this corner to work with. See, this, yeah, that's where our water, our O2 is coming from, is right there. So this is actually not a bad spot for this. Not great, but it's not bad. Okay. So again, at the top, you can see all the crew. They're doing a little drinking stuff over here. I could assign them over to the ship, and they'd stay over there all the time, but we don't have enough food and stuff set up yet. Temperature. It's a little chilly at three. It's frozen over there. Okay, expand the ship's advanced power grid. Small power node is known to distributes power advanced power to facilities. Open up the power view node to see how your grid is set up. That's what this is. Currently generating and consuming no power. So what would we want to build? 
Small or large notes? Small notes. Uh, I didn't think he needed these things anymore, but they changed it. Put that over here, I guess. Oh, sorry. Advanced facilities such as industry facilities and ship attack and defense systems need advanced power. Use a power notice to expand the advanced power stuff. So we don't have any of that yet. Oh, it's not on the power? How is it not on the power grid? We're going to move this. It's right there now. Because for some reason, this thing is like right next to the generators, but it's not on the grip, grid. Select the character and use the draft button to lower the uh, port. Okay, so this is equipping your crew members. So. What are we looking for? We're looking for Lieutenant Judy as our as our uh, away team leader. We want her to uh, where'd she go? Oh, she's don't draft. Hmm. Uh, you guys here, so we're gonna draft you and go here and pick something up, please. Just gonna tell him to pick up a weapon. If it's in the spot, it might be over there. And of course it's not there, it's probably over here. Or maybe it's over here. There it is. Okay, so she gets a nice little gun. And she can go back to work. Explore a derelict ship. Well, that's next. It's KC. We're here and pick up a gun. Again, Lieutenant Commander KC is our engineer. Right? Skills. Yeah, he's a head engineer. Iron wheeled engineer. Judy. Judy is the head of our weight team, so she gets the shotgun. She's got a gun. She doesn't have a gun, so we're going to wake her up real quick so she can go pick up a pistol. Then she can go back to sleep, feel safe. So actually what I need to do is get all my away team people on the same shift, which is Judy, Maura, and Maureen. I didn't even know the names were that close. <laughs> okay, so need that gun. Go back to sleep. So, you've got a gun, you've got a gun, you don't have one, we don't have one, everybody else does. Do they all need guns? Eh, not really. The doctors probably don't, but it's not a bad idea to have everybody have a gun because there are pirates that can come in and if they disable your ship, they will board you and then you get to... Well, actually, you don't even have to disable your ship, they could just board you anyway, I think. Mm -hmm. 
I think they can still board you no matter what. If you don't have uh, any defenses, so. Let's work. And we're gonna play around with the shifts real quick. Schedule. So, we want uh, Judy, Mora, and Marina all on the same shift. So you go there. Go, day shift. Okay, so Judy, Mora, and Marina are our way team. Casey could join them if we wanted, but uh, his job is to keep the ship up and running. So they're currently sleepy. So, second shift. Once they're awake, have their breakfast, we're going to send them over to the derelict and check it out. More than likely, there's going to be, you know, bad things over there for educational purposes. And settings for your kitchen. I'm sure that will be okay for now. Oh, we don't have any, uh, we need a research workbench, research lab. What's the difference? Contains archive site tech data from Earth, group members with Crew members with the research skill can be operated to unlock more advanced technologies. It needs to reverse engineering purposes, supporting research efforts to invent new technologies. Okay. So we'll make this into our little uh, research area, I think. Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? If not, you really should. chilly over in this room. That's okay. For now, we're not going to need too much. Quickly. Okay. They all here? Come on, Judy. All right. Judy's here. Morris here. Maureen. She's in the shuttle. Okay, all three of you get in that shuttle. Where are you going? She's not listening. Yeah, when you draft uh, people and then you put them into a shuttle, the shuttle becomes drafted as well. And you can tell it where to go. In this case, going down here to the derelict. And the entry points are where the green spots are. The question is, which one do you want to go to? Looks like there's a dock there. So we'll go over here. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, then once it docks, you just uh, have them all come out. And then the fun part is now is they do have, uh, have to worry about oxygen. So the little blue bar down at the bottom of their information is. They can get more oxygen by going back to the airlock and plugging in there. Now we're just searching the whole ship. 
see what we run into, see if there's any aliens on board. Which so far is so good. Check out down here. And once you explore the whole ship, you can claim it as salvage. Unless it's a derelict. In which case, you can claim it as your ship if it's an actual derelict. Nobody has a claim on it, so. And the difference between a derelict and um, and salvage is uh, the derelict ship. Or actually, this is technically a derelict. I guess it's an unclaimed ship. You can actually build it up to make it space worthy again. These actual derelict ships can't be fixed up. You can't claim them. You can't repair them. So only thing you can do is just basically strip them clean off of, of parts and that kind of stuff. Which is fine because you need that stuff too. Uh -oh. So food bar, doing okay. And every now and then you find this stuff laying around. Sometimes it's money. I guess there's money. Sometimes it's like little data paths that gives you a little bit of backstory of uh, the game and that kind of stuff. What's going on in the world or galaxy, whatever. Getting it kind of close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them back to the airlock real quick. Get some O2. And then we'll continue searching the ship. See, now they're filled up. And yes, the airlock does have a limited amount of oxygen in it. You just can't keep going back there over and over again. Although, I guess, it, no, I guess if there's a shuttle there, I don't think it matters. But anyway, the ship has been explored. Oh, there's another airlock back here. So, now that that's done, what we do is we uh, build a shuttle hangar and a mining pod hangar. That's so we have to do that on the other ship. So I undraft these guys. But first, we're going to salvage stuff. So, salvage available. There's a notification for instructions. So, let's go to salvage down here in the lower left. And we're going to select everything. And then we're going to transfer it to space station. We could put it on the Veronica, but we're going to put it on the space station because space station actually has the, the industry to process all the scrap and stuff. We don't have that on the ship yet. So we got that. And then this is actually the stuff that we've uh, seen on the ship so far. And basically just this resource and stuff like that's uh, hyperfuel. Some hull blocks, tech blocks, fertilizer, some medical supplies. So select all that stuff and... Dun, dun, dun. Send it over to there. So sending everything from the derelict over to the base so and that's what they're going to do now a little crew members so they can take advantage of the shuttles and do stuff undrop the shuttle and these guys are going to start they're going to head back to the shuttle to go back and do whatever they And then the second shuttle is already being used. Remember, it's going to start coming over here and... No? Guess not. <laughs> Didn't bring anybody over with him. I'm still doing over there. Oh, the pods come over and they start doing their salvaging. They start taking, tearing all the walls. As you can see, it's happening there. Now they get turned into scrap. They bring it back over here and it gets thrown in these places, like uh, this recycler, which is 
It's already set up for all the scrap to be processed into actual building materials. How's our food doing? 91%. 25, so that means we had a crop right there probably. Okay, built a shuttle hanger and a mining pod hanger over here. How are we going to build it? Build them, probably on either side. Yeah, we got space. So. Shuttle hanger is big. Seven by six. Seven by six, but you can rotate it this way. So it'll probably just fit it in right there. So it needs to be uh, eight by seven. So we have to build walls all along here. Well, maybe not so much here, but definitely here. Get that built up. Gotta remember the, the lower section here is for Gimpy is raising engines. money for the National MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Okay, so. All set. Now there should be enough space. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that that big enough? That's right, six by seven. We're going seven this way. So that'll be enough space for uh, the hanger, and then we'll put the pods over on the side. Once this is up and running. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not sure we we should be able to build a door here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want the uh, airlock shell in here. That way. That way. Now we do this way. And I think we will put a wallet off from everything else, I think. That's a smart thing to do. There we go. Again, the space is uh, being reserved. Well, not necessarily reserved, but we're going to put an engine there. And we'll wait for that to get built. Sketch out this whole area. Air 
block blocked incoming transfer silent mining block. Oh, that must be over at the station. People aren't moving stuff fast enough. Oh, look, this stuff has got built. No, it's not. Oh, need a wall. This is our research stuff. So, there's a research tree. It looks different. Oh, I see what they did. <laughs> they lumped it up a little differently than it was. Okay, so... Weapons console, ship, you know, power capacity mode, solar panels, better generator. Robotics, industry, metal refinery, industry stuff, item fabricators, so we can make guns and stuff like that, alien technology, I don't know what that's supposed to be, so medical beds, hyper sleep chamber, two boxes for entertainment, Botany, so we can uh, make our own glow beds. Put that as our first research thing. <laughs> so, down here we've not quite salvaged everything, it looks like. We've got a lot of stuff to go through still. Look. apart. What Savage was supposed to be doing? Transfer. That's all still has to be transferred over to. Basically, big blob. Logistics are overwhelmed. It's probably going to be over here. Yep. All well, their junk that needs to be thrown in the storage. So Mr. Casey, he's turning our, our uh, scrap into building blocks of different types every time he goes over there. This one is, he's making actual blocks and stuff too. We got those parts, makes the blocks directly. It's gonna be busy. Here's our compost. You can have up to four things being composted at a time. So, so busy. Are you going to be able to break down this stuff? No, nope, they're not going to let us dismantle it. But wish they would. Being able to move a lot of the stuff over the ship would be nice. Just saying. Okay, and again, this is where we, well, maybe not again, but we have two shifts, shifts of people working. So you can see at the top, we've got three people sleeping while the other three are out doing stuff. Basically, just to keep things moving more smoothly. Oh, critical resources low. Now they're over here breaking stuff down. So what we're supposed to be doing because we do need these pieces and parts to build up our own ship. And this definitely helps. Yeah, 
and two shifts of people doing this stuff. And we also have two shuttles, too. Oh, they still want us to build a mining pod as well. How big are the mining pods? 3 by 4 by 4s. So actually, eventually we're going to want two shuttles on this thing. The question is, where do we want the pods, I guess? We put them over here. Let's see, how big is the engine? The engine will fit right there. And although well, we could extend this back end out a little bit. Hmm. Can't build in the red aider area because that's what the pod or the airlock needs, but we could push this out a little bit. All the way down here. Another seven by seven. And what this that allows us to do is it gives us plenty of space for uh, putting a, a pod hanger here. We don't have to worry about it banging into the engine or overlapping, whatever you want to call it. So, pod hanger. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Go get some more water while you are up. Your next break is in two hours. Okay. So, this. Let me move you guys over here, I think, for now. I wanted to get this done before I go on break, otherwise I'll forget. So this, I think with two right next to each other, it can actually fit four of them here, it looks like. Oh no, we can't. At least not right now. But anyway, this, yeah, that's the way we'll do it. And then these walls, we'll just move them back over here. Okay, so if we do mirror this over on the other side, we'll have enough room for another uh, shuttle bay hanger, or shuttle hanger, and two mining pods as well. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break. Oh, is that the one? oh yeah, so that's one. Well, I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Be back in a few minutes, and we'll continue on. So, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video. <laughs> 